So there's a story online about, you know, the German police take down Hydra Market, a major dark web marketplace. And uh, this marketplace was partaking in cryptocurrencies too. The country's federal criminal police office uh, seized 543 bitcoins from that uh, market. So the, uh, I think they were using, if I'm not wrong, they were using cryptocurrency to, to do their legal business. And one of those illegal businesses were illegal drugs and the platform also offered cryptocurrency laundering services, forged documents, stolen credit card numbers, counterfeit money and illicit digital goods. And uh, the reason why they will use crypto is because, you know, crypto is uh, untraceable. When you make a transaction with Bitcoin, that transaction cannot be traced from where it came from and who actually made the transaction. You know, so and that's why a lot of people, you know, like DeFi because it's untraceable and you don't need permission to make transaction so if you can see 543 billion and this is how their website looks like hydra hydra so they they got shut down and whoever was protecting you know whoever they whoever had their money in there their bitcoin money in there they probably lost everything you will not get that back i don't think so that is you know illegal business it doesn't it doesn't matter what you know kind of agreement you had with the website you know the government doesn't miss it none of that and as you can see i think uh, they do say that you know the transactions they made well over 1.34 billion dollars in 2020 transactions that's quite a lot of money so which means this this site was around for quite some time you know it's not something that just popped up so and this is the reason why i'm you know sometimes i get skeptical about investing in companies or platforms that you know involve blockchain that you know that are in, in, in regions that are very you know are very unfriendly with the crypto market like you know the chinese platforms it's so difficult to invest in a chinese platform because the government out there is you know as i say it doesn't play with crypto and you might wake up in the morning and the company is declared illegal who knows you know you know what i mean yeah you, you see what happened to the alibaba owner he went missing you know and you know because they put a crackdown on alibaba and then you know, they told them they cannot collect i think they were collecting personal data and using that data to get a hedge in the market to see what people are buying what people are you know doing and in the chinese market the chinese government didn't like that at all so these are the kind of things that you know kind of like worry me a, a little bit about investing through these sites like i do have you know some sticks in um in uh, Cartex.io and it's a Chinese you know platform so you know you, the future is very very unknown you don't know where they're headed to what's gonna happen you just keep your fingers crossed <laughs> that they will stay in business and don't have to be cracked down and shut down because if they do uh, I guess you know that money's gone you know we also if you can look at SN uh, CNBC CNBC they, they gave out a report on January 7th and they said crypto scammers took a record of 14 billion dollars last year you know 14 billion dollars so some 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 scammers out here you know this is the new this is the new scam it used to be it used to be somebody calls you and they tell you oh you want this voucher walmart or something nowadays they don't do that nowadays they do the crypto and, and they're making a lot of money out of it you, you can see losses from crypto related crime rose 79 percent from 2020 cryptocurrency theft increased 516 percent from 2020 to 3.2 billion worth of cryptocurrencies of these total 72 percent of stolen funds were taken from DeFi. you know as you all know DeFi is a decentralized financial system whereby you can be able to send money peer to peer you don't need a third party you know unlike uh, you know centralized financial institution let's say for instance swift swift is a centralized financial institution whereby if I send money to somebody, it has to go through a main bank and then go to a smaller bank and then probably go to an, ag uh, an agency and then that agency gives the other person the money that I sent from the other side. But, you know, with DeFi, I can just send money to somebody right immediately and they get that money. So, so you know, like Russia, Russia, they were, uh, they were using SWIFT. SWIFT is a centralized financial, you know, institution whereby they can be shut off and you see what they did them. With the sanctions they told russia you cannot use swift anymore you know what i'm saying i was like you know if you have the balls to, to threaten over nuke you can you can you can create your own financial system you know you don't have to use a centralized financial system if you 
if you can tell somebody I'll throw you and I'll throw a nuke on, a, on your backyard you know what I mean so it didn't make sense to me so what I can say about this is that if you have crypto and you have quite a number of it and you're you know willing to hold it for quite a long time just you know adopt the cold wallet system you know you can adopt the cold wallet system let me see one of the flash drives that you can use for the cold wallet system to store your crypto so that you don't wake up one day morning and, and the company you invested in is, is on the news yeah it's gonna be so unfortunate you know so be very safe keep your keys very secure because once somebody has that there's no customer service you're going to call hey man oh i think i dropped my keys somewhere crypto all these wallets you know metamask and other wallets they don't have no customer service and they cannot they can't help you with that that's your key if somebody has it they have everything that you own in that wallet and they can take it so if you if you can see you can um you can use the nano x the nano x has been proved to be the best so far it's a as, you know it's a cold wallet so for flash drive you buy that plug it in and you move your crypto to the nano x so that you can keep your crypto off the internet and it's a cold wallet you can walk with it anywhere store it in your house somewhere somebody will never gain access to it and i think you can put a pin code or a passcode on that flash drive too so if somebody run you know gets it they plug it in they won't be able to to get in right now it's 149 dollars you know so if you have crypto and you're holding it for a long term you adopt the you know the cold wallet system i think you you're gonna need that otherwise in the meantime i'll see you in the next video uh, you can like and subscribe if you, if you like this video and uh, stay safe keep your money safe and keep on investing